Hey guys, in this video we're taking our second look at solving linear inequalities for uh, A-level maths. Uh, so, in part one we were looking at single inequalities, in here we are looking at double inequalities, or finding sets of values that satisfy two separate inequalities. So, I'll have to get cracking. Okay, so our first example we've got 2x minus 3 is greater than 4 but less than 10. So we want to write this inequality so that we've just got an x in the middle. And then we're also going to write it in set notation 2. Okay, so first of all we want to solve this minus 3. That's very similar as to when you have single inequalities. We just need to do a bit more work. So we got this minus 3 to move this then. We add 3. Now we do that to all three parts of this inequality. So we get 7 is less than 2x is less than 13. And then we just need to sort out this 2. So, to do that, we divide by 2. Again, to all three parts of the inequality. So we get 7 over 2 is less than x is less than 13 over 2. So, that's absolutely fine. Using set notation, we could write this as x is such that x is greater than 7 halves intersection x is such that x is less than 13 I like that. Good times. Okay, next up. Minus 3 is less than or equal to 1 minus 2x, which is less than 6. So, first of all, let's sort out this 1. So we subtract 1 in all three parts of the inequality. So we're going to get minus 4 is less than or equal to minus 2x is less than 5. Now be very careful here. We got minus 2x. So we now divide through by minus 2. So What's going to happen here is the two inequality signs are going to flip direction. So we're going to get minus 4 over minus 2 is greater than or equal to x, which is greater than 5 over minus 2. Now minus 4 over 2, sorry minus 4 over minus 2 is positive 2. So you've got 2 is greater than or equal to x which is greater than minus 5 halves. Now really we should rewrite this again to minus 5 halves is less than x which is less than or equal to uh, 2 like that. So all we've done there is reverse the order so that it's written in standard inequality form written in the right order. So in set notation we could say x is such that x is uh, 
agree to that. Minus five halves. Intersection. X such that X is less than or equal to two. I like that. Good times. Alrighty then, last one here for linear inequalities. So, we want to find the set of values of x which satisfies both of these inequalities. So we've got 3x minus 1 is less than 5 and 1 minus x is less than 3. So, we want to solve each inequality separately, first of all. So, let's go on the left. If we add the 1, 3x then is less than 6. And if we divide by 2, x is less than 2. Like that. Okay, so that's that guy on the left solved. And if we solve the guy on the right, 1 minus x is less than 3. Let's take away the 1. So minus x is less than t. And then if we divide both sides by minus 1, flip the sign, x is greater than minus t. Like that. So we can write these two inequalities as 1. So we've got x is greater than minus t like that, that x is less than positive t like that. So that gives us our set of values for x. Let's write it in set notation. So we could write this as x such that x is greater than minus t intersection x such that x is less than positive t. I like that. Okay, hope you found this useful update here. Next, we're looking at quadratic inequalities.